I wanted to talk about this two-week liquid diet that your bariatric surgeon puts you on before you have surgery. It is pure evil. I'm not even kidding. I don't even see how another human being could do something like this to someone. It is horrible. Let me, let me go back to the beginning. I can tell you right now, I should have known when I walked in there, but it, I swear it looked like a, a normal doctor's office. It, it didn't look like the, the pit of hell in there. But I, it, it, when I walked in, it looked normal. So, I, I, you know, they took me into the doctor's office, and I went in, it looked like a normal little, little doctor's office with a torture table in there, you know, with a little... With a little chair the doctors like to roll around on to make themselves look important. And two of his little intern minion, minions came in and said, poked around on me and I hawked me for a little bit and then they went out in the hallway and talked about me like I'm deaf. You know, I was like, what the heck is going on here? I should have knew then. Should have knew. But then, the doctor comes in. And when he opens up the door, I swear to God, a blast of cold air went through my body. It gave me goosebumps. Made my nipples hard. That's how cold it was. Pure evil had just walked in the room and I had no idea. He sat down and talked to me, told me, that, hey, you know, let me poke around on your belly. Like, I, like the fat had went somewhere. Of course it's still there, Doc. You know? So then he sits there and decides to tell me that, hey, you are going to have to drink five of these a day and snack in between them with this jello right here. I was like, at first I was like, I'm No big deal. I didn't realize what I was dealing with. Now, mind you, the damn temperature in the room is so damn cold, my wife can't even hardly be in there. Until he walked out and it warmed back up. So then, I left. And I came home and I waited until two weeks before my surgery. Well, I started it. First day wasn't too bad. You know, I thought, oh, I'm a badass. I got this. Day two came, and my, I swear my stomach was saying, help me, help me. I'm not even kidding you. That's how bad it was. I thought to myself, how could another individual put somebody else through this? Only an evil person would do that. Only an evil person would do that. I mean, what good is it if I don't make it to the surgery? If I don't get there. If I'm dead before the surgery, what good is it? I don't get it. I mean, it's all I can do is think about barbecuing my dog. My dog's actually looking good to me. It's pure evil. I can tell you, I know a little bit about evil because my sister-in-law has these creepy little elves and I swear they got a little evil in them. I ain't kidding you. You'll see those videos coming this Christmas. And I'll tell you the worst part of it is that you ain't gonna believe this part. This is how you're gonna know that he's evil beyond evil. Is he tried to convert me over to veganism. I should have knew right there. I should have walked out of that office. I should have stormed out of that office. Didn't even know what I was getting myself into. Veganism. We're carnivores. Uh, veganism. I, I can tell you right now, I'm telling everybody about this because I want you to be warned of what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to survive or not. But if I do, there will be more videos.
Okay, guys. I just wanted y'all to know that that was just all a joke. I was just kidding around. I actually love my surgeon. He's very good. His name's uh, Dr. Sherman at Houston Methodist Hospital. He's actually a very good surgeon. He came highly recommended. I've only actually met him once, but he's, he came highly recommended by a lot of people that we talked to. And uh, he's a very good surgeon, from what I understand. And uh, I actually love my surgeon. This was all just a, just kidding around. And Cindy, I love you and your elves. I was just kidding about that, so don't, don't take that too seriously. And I, I wanted to say that uh, the liquid diet actually isn't that bad. I'm on day four of the liquid diet, and I am doing just fine. I would probably say the second day it was um, my stomach was growling a little bit. I was a little hungry, but I think I've kind of gotten used to it. But I'll tell you right now, the best thing for you to do, and I think this helped me, was I was already doing like 13 to 1400 calories a day before the liquid diet started. I think that helped me. I think that helped me uh, transition to the liquid diet, like I have. It's it's really not that bad. I mean, I do feel a little hungry every now and then, but you know, I I and I'll tell you something else. I'm doing. I'm drinking water. I'm drinking about a half a cup of water before I drink the shake, and I'm drinking bone broth, which is very good. You want to try bone broth, not chicken broth bone broth is better I drink two cups of that at night and it makes me feel like I ate dinner you know I'm even a little full after I drink I drink two cups of that and I drink a shake and that's kind of my dinner at night and that's been working out real good for me I'm not hungry when I go to bed it, it's pretty good so if that is something you ought to try if you're gonna be going through this and Again, I want to say all this was just, the beginning of this was just a joke. I was just kidding around, trying to be funny. But uh, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel. Help me make it. Help me get to a thousand subscribers if you can. I would love it if I could get there and get four thousand watch hours because YouTube changed their their uh, uh, rules. To be monetized then you got to have 4,000 hours of watch time and a thousand subscribers and I'm not even close to that right now so if you could help me out with that it'd be great and you can also go over to family shenanigans at family mischief and follow me on Facebook we have a family shenanigans page there and I appreciate y'all for watching peace